Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Right, for this question, uh, they mentioned about the two forces here acting on the disc and the radius of the disc. Now, if it is made to complete n revolutions about the axis through the center, so imagine the axis is protruding out from the center of the circle. So, write down the expression for the distance moved by a, by a point on the circumference of the disc. Now, if you take a point, one revolution, you will be making a uh, we're traveling a distance of 2 pi r, which is a circumference. But because it's completing n revolutions, so let's say there are 3, you will complete 3 revolutions. So the total distance will be 2 pi r times the n. But what about the work done by one of the two forces? So remember the formula for work done is product of force and the distance move. Alright, so your force is f and your distance move is 2 pi r n. So it's just f times. 2 pi r n. And the next part, using your answer, show that the work done by a couple producing top T and it turns through n revolutions is given by this formula. Now remember what you did was you already found the, for the work done by one of the two forces. If they want the work done by a couple, it means both the forces. So basically, you can just take the work done by one of the two forces and multiply by two. That will be the work done by the couple, which are two forces. But they want you to convert from this formula to here. So as I always told you, if you want to convert from one formula to another, you need to look at what you need to get rid of, and you need to look at what you need to introduce. So in this case here, we need to get rid of F and R, and we need to introduce T. But we need to find a formula that links the, the, the quantity you want to introduce, which is T, and the the quantities you want to eliminate, which is F and R. So we know the torque will be F times the perpendicular distance between the two forces, which is 2R. So we write that down first. So we can take out the F and 1R and 1, 2. So these three, when I take out, you can replace as T. So then you'll be left with 2 pi and N. So 2 pi and T. Right, and the last part of this question, so they gave you a torque of 470 at 2,400 revolutions per minute. So let's calculate the output power of the engine. So using this formula, which is work done, we know that power is rate of work done, so work done divided by time. So you can take the work done here, 2 pi nt, and divide by the time taken. Now, in case you're wondering why they did not give you the time, right, uh, how long uh, for this small t, is because the n over t here can be grouped together to form number of revolutions per unit time, which in this case here is 2,400 revolutions per minute. So this n over t is this. But because the unit is watt, which is per second, you would have to convert the per minute here to per second, which is why the n over t here, instead of 2,400 per minute, one minute, I would convert to 60 seconds. All right, and the rest of it, the, the top, which is actually given as 470. So then you just have to substitute everything and you will get your final answer. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.